This is the statue of Friedrich Wilhelm. Not many people know, but he was involved in the trade of enslaved Africans, just like many other European counterparts at the time. Perhaps Europeans lacked the wisdom to understand that humans should respect each other and have some esteem for both the living and the non-living things. Differences exist between us, yet they show how we should praise the uniqueness of our diversity. Mother Nature at her best. What a beauty we can behold. Let us look back to the sands of time. History has been told and will be told. Look back at the history of colonialism and the transatlantic trade, also called MAFA, the Great Tragedy, when human beings were exploiting other human beings for profit and capitalist money making. In 1680, Friedrich Wilhelm sent ships to the coast of today's Ghana. He wanted his soldiers to bring back parrots, monkeys, ivory and gold to Berlin. At the same time, he instructed them to bring him, quote, half a dozen of African slaves between 14 and 16 years old, as if they were goods rather than human beings. Here, these young enslaved Africans were then forced to work at the court of Brandenburg. Later, his son, Friedrich I, built that palace over there. He also expanded what his father had started and ordered that enslaved Africans be shipped over the Atlantic. The company that oversaw this trade transported more than 20,000 slaves to the Caribbean. Many died during the dreadful journey and others who could survive were then subjected to inhuman conditions as unpaid workers on the plantations. We want you to remember them even if we don't have their names to remember their histories, even if they weren't written. In this palace behind me, there's also a painting that shows how Brandenburgers used Africans here. They were forced to become exotic servants, holding umbrellas for the aristocrats. They were probably the first Africans living here in Berlin. They suffered from racism and discrimination, and their descendants too have suffered. In Ghana, a fortress built by the Brandenburgers reminds us of this history. It is an important site and tour guides tell tourists about what happened more than 300 years ago. Here, this statue celebrates this guy. Nothing, nothing has been put here to inform people about this history. This is why we stand here today, to tell about the story of those who have suffered from these inhuman acts. Never again should this happen. May their souls rest in peace. The way forward is love, for love covers all wrongs. So, okay, the water first is kind of a prayer, African traditional prayer. We do this like to show supremacy to God. After we do this, to pay homage to the land, then after we pour the water. Ask their, their souls, souls to forgive those who wrong them and let us wish for peace and prosperity in Ghana and Berlin-Brandenburg.